guys, so recently someone wrote to me in my Facebook inbox and asked me what brands... Hi guys, so recently someone came to me and wrote to me in my Facebook inbox and asked me what brands are just as good as MAC. Now here's the thing, MAC doesn't make entirely perfect products and I figured I would do a drugstore series where I tell you all the drugstore things in order to create a full face that I enjoy and also do a makeup look. So this will be the makeup look. Um, I hope you enjoy. So I already prepped with brows. I used my Anastasia brow gel because I didn't want to taint the e.l.f. one because it's for my pro kit. So I'm using e.l.f. face primer at the moment. It is the e.l.f. mineral primer and it's just a basic, you know, silicone face primer. Feels exactly the same as like any other one would. Some people say it's a dupe for the Smashbox photo finish one and I really like it. So I don't have a drugstore concealer either, but I promise it stops there. Um, I'm going to be putting this on my under eye circles, this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. If you do not have this, you can substitute out for Maybelline's Age Rewind Concealer or the NYX Photogenic HD Concealer. I've heard they're similar. So I'm using my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation in the shade, I believe I'm 810 or 801, I don't remember classic ivory and I'm just applying this all over my face with my elf stippling uh, my elf stippling brush and yeah just I do blend it in a little bit with my fingers but for the most part it's the brush and I'm just applying this in one even layer all over all the areas of my face so I'm yeah there you go um I accidentally stabbed myself in the nose with a brush bristle I'm sorry this is our bronzer, blush, and highlighter. We're going to start with the bronzer and contour a little bit with the NYX Sunkissed palette. And I'm going to be doing my cheekbones, my nose, my temples, and my jawline with this. And I'm using the two bronzier colors on the left side of the palette. Now I'm singing along to Blue Jeans by Lana Del Rey, so, you know, that's necessary. I'm using my CoverGirl Cheekers blush in Rose Silk. This is very old, um, thus the face. Um, it has a little bit of a baby powder smell, which I kind of dig, but I feel like that would bother some people. <laughs> but it just adds a nice pink flush, and yeah, throwing that on the apples of my cheeks. We're going to wait for highlighter because if I have any fallout with the eyeshadow, I will dust away the highlighter. I didn't get a shot, but I'm priming my eyes with the Maybelline Too Cool color tattoo. Um, Too Cool is the color name. It's like a shimmery white. This will help the colors pop and keep our eyeshadow on all day. And I'm just applying this to my finger. So now we're using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, and I'm using that eyelid shade right there on, you guessed it, my eyelid. And um, it's just like a nice light coppery goldish sort of color. It's very hard to describe. It's a very unique color. Definitely has some coppery tones, but I really like it. And I'm putting into my crease the crease shade under the eyelid shade. And I'm going to be using my Sigma E25, which by the way, I got this in my Pro Welcome Kit. And it's an awesome brush if you do want to invest in a high-end set of brushes. If not, the e.l.f. ones are cool too, and I love my Up and Up Target crease brush. But we're just blending that in. This is supposed to be a dupe for the MAC 217. And this is travel sized, by the way. So I'm putting that crease shade in the outer third of my eye and my crease using that Up and Up crease brush I mentioned earlier. And yeah, I feel like that brush blends darker colors together really easily. And I'm using the E25 again with the brow bone color, and I'm also using that second color from the Coastal Sense Revealed palette in my inner corner, but I accidentally must have cut that out of filming. So now we're going to be lining our eyes with the Rimmel Scandalize Eye Coal in black, and oh, looks like my clips are out of order. And um, yeah, I'm just putting that. I'm putting this all over the eyelid, as in like the before I wing it out and I'm going to be smudging this out with a smudger brush which is basically like a sponge tip applicator on a stick you can essentially use it for the same reasons and just touching up that color where I accidentally rubbed too much off 
and now I'm going to be drawing in my wing. Um, I accidentally got like out of the frame for the majority of drawing my wings, so I just kind of skipped that part. Um, I lined my waterline with the same eye coal, and now we're going to move on to mascara. I love my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Um, it is my favorite drugstore mascara of all time. It's just great for volumizing. Um, I do think the falsies is better for like lengthening reasons, but yeah, as you can see, it's just so great. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm curling my eye one at a time because I got a frame on the other one again. And I'm just wiggling it through. As you can see, it just really adds a lot of volume and blackness to your eyelashes, especially me who is a natural blonde, not this color blonde, um, who doesn't really have pigmented eyelashes like at all. So then after that, I blink it through which I'm doing right now, and I also put some on my bottom lashes. So this is the finished look for the most part. And I'm adding my highlighter in now, which is the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage 2 Reflect Palette in Rosé Champagne Glow. Drugstore loves to add really long names to things. So I'm using the Revlon Lip Butter in Creme Brulee, which is the perfect nude for my skin tone. And I'm just applying this all over the lips. So right at that moment my camera ran out and I had to literally wait for my 5 second clip of applying lip gloss. I'm using NYX Peaches and Cream which is my all time favorite butter gloss, lip gloss, anything. And it's just a nice peachy color and sort of livens it up. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!